life is about to change in a big way for Cody Blevins. The 32-year-old is a husband and father to three stepchildren. Cody is also a U.S. Army veteran. My grandpa on my mom's side, uh, Papa Willie, he was literally my best friend. He was a World War II veteran. He would give the shirt off his back to anybody. It's kind of what made me want to do it, was the, the whole helpful side and just seeing the man he was. Cody was 18 years old when he enlisted. Six months later, he received his deployment orders. We went to Kandahar Providence in southern Afghanistan. My unit, Charlie Company specifically, they got hit really, really hard. Um, we had a very high casualty rating, over 50%. On March 22, 2010, Cody and members of his unit were sent out on an early morning transport mission. We were in a four-vehicle convoy at this point. We were going over the bridge. I gave the all-clear signal, and as soon as I did, I heard an explosion. And the next thing I know, I woke up on my back. You know, I'm looking up at the, the, uh, the sky in Afghanistan, and I couldn't feel anything from my waist down. Cody's vehicle was hit by an IED, injuring Cody and killing a member of his unit. Sergeant First Class Carlos Santos Silva. They realized the extent of my injuries. Both my ankles were broken. Um, my left one was the, the worst one. I've had three surgeries on it now. I was at Bagram at the time that I got my Purple Heart. The guy that I got hurt with, Ben McCune, uh, we were in land right next to each other and we had a four star and Sergeant Major of the Army come in and give us our uh, Purple Hearts. Despite undergoing months of physical therapy and an attempt to return to active duty, Cody received a medical discharge from the Army. I got a lot of resentment when I was getting out because I didn't want to get out. What can I do that's going to, you know, give me this group of people, this tribe that I need? It's one day out of the blue, like, I, I was so depressed. I was crying. I didn't know what was happening, and I, I've never been like that. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about Sergeant Santos and what happened that day. Then, in 2013, Cody met Jessica, the woman he would marry, gaining an instant family with her three kids. The family of five settled in Hooper Heights, Ohio, renting a small home. Her and the kids have both been a saving grace. Definitely ground me now. I'm thankful for it, you know, like I got a responsibility to them to raise good humans. Seeing him smile is, is a, it's a huge accomplishment, honestly. I'm gonna do what I can to make you smile and then I got the kids in on it helping me now, so. Cody would soon have a lot to smile about, thanks to his family's involvement with the Military Warriors Support Foundation, a nonprofit helping veterans transition to civilian life. One of their programs, Homes for Wounded Heroes, has provided more than 900 mortgage-free homes to deserving veterans and Gold Star families. When Jessica heard about a home available in Ohio, she immediately applied. Cody arrived thinking he was just meeting with General Leroy Sisko to talk about the foundation. We're really honored to be here today. Our partner is an incredible partner, Wells Fargo Bank with Military Warriors Support Foundation. And we have heroes that we owe so much to, they've done so much for us, and we want to say thank you in, in a really neat way. And Cody, this is your house. <laughs> well, you guys are kidding, right? <laughs> we got something else here. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Hey, you thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go see the house. Hey, let's do it. Over the past several months, workers were busy renovating the house for the big reveal. This is huge <laughs> compared to where we're at. That one's your room? <laughs> this, this is wild. This is crazy. We have a backyard. A big backyard. <laughs> a home that symbolizes a hopeful future for Cody and his family. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. I spend time with family now. That's why I've been most focused on. And this is going to give me the, uh, definitely the opportunity. It's togetherness and knowing that the kids, we don't have to worry about them wondering, you know, when we're moving, where we're moving. Like, we're not going anywhere. It'll be here. We don't have the space to have family over right now to even like try to prepare Thanksgiving dinner, like now we, we can. Yeah. Just a foundation, you know, just a great solid foundation. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Cody and his family are making plans to move into their new home next month. And Cody will also receive three years of financial mentoring through the foundation. He's a wonderful, wonderful Good for guy. Cody. Good for Cody.